Hello YouTube and fellow Radio Hams. This is just a quick video look at my little MMDVM hotspot repeater that I've recently built. And I shall be taking this to uh, demo and also when I go out from around the house, around town and rallies and things like that, it's nice to have a little portable MMDVM repeater that you can show people actually working with all the bits. It's built inside one of my favourite little boxes. It's an old Pi receiver, probably dated from 1977, somewhere around there. There's a date stamp on the, on the inside, so that's uh, no carbon dating required. Let's have a quick look inside. Uh, so we've got a Raspberry Pi 2 here, USB uh, Wi-Fi uh, just going out the back here to a little dongle antenna. Now, the, the sort of business part of this repeater is an MMDVM hotspot board here. So we've got the receiver and the transmitter. So it's a pair of ADF 7021s. And what I've done is I've actually built around the board some cans, some using bits of PCB and bits of, uh, um, well this is aluminium foil and, and I found some copper stuff which I thought looks nicer so I used the copper foil but they're screened as best as I can basically to stop the transmitter from getting into the receiver. Um, the board is, uh, the ground plane of this is, is grounded down to the chassis of the case and I've added a little bit of extra decoupling on the power supply for that as well. Uh, the output of the transmit goes into a 13 dB uh, attenuator and this gets fed into a little amplifier that I made. This is a module, this is a, an MHW707-2, it's manufactured by Motorola probably in the 90s uh, and it actually came out of a handheld radio, a Pi, sorry, beg, beg your pardon, a Philips PRP73, later became Simico. And I had a few of those, I was going to scrap them, and uh, I thought I'll take them apart to see what PA modules they had in them, because these were very common, uh, and still are I suppose to some extent, but they're all surface mount now. Uh, but this was nice and easy to get out. Uh, you put RF in this end, and you get more RF coming out of this end. Uh, when run at, I think, 7.5 volts, uh, they're designed for 7 watts. I'm running this at 5 volts, and I'm maximum output power it will flat out uh from this board that's plus 20 dbm from here uh we've got about two watts coming out of here but i've got no intentions to run it at that sort of power but you can run it about half a watt uh, uh and the output's very clean no problems whatsoever at all uh um i've had it on the spectrum analyzer second and third harmonic uh below 50 maybe 60 dBm. By the time it's in the duplex filter, the second harmonic is almost disappeared, of course, because it's the duplex that becomes quite lossy as you move away from its uh, uh, passband or you know where it's got the best match. So it's quite safe to put on the air. It's not recommended at all uh, doing this, but just for a demo repeater of something to use myself under sort of controlled conditions it works well now the receivers on these are not particularly good they're sensitive but they've just got no selectivity we've got around this problem with this uh, tuned section here this is a five pole helical uh, cavity filter yeah, there's some gain there's a little amplifier between each of the stages and this was this 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 filter actually came out of this pi receiver um, and I've mounted it back in here, and this would normally have run off. I, I'm not sure it'd been 12 or 24 volts. And so now I'm running it off 5 volts, and uh, we get about 5 dB gain uh, in. I didn't want too much. I actually put the voltage up, of course, the transistors work better. There's probably 5 dB gain, probably a 5 dB of noise as well, I should imagine, judging by the age of them. But it does work. It's about a meg wide if you take the 3 dB points. Uh, so it's not perfect but it's quite good and on the respect of you can put this um, on the air connected to an outside antenna and it gives very good performance I mean it's almost as good as a proper 
MMDVM, you know, a proper, you know, commercial transceiver um, uh, in this arrangement. Um, but just for a little sort of throw in the boot in the car repeater, it works for about... Now, there's a lid that goes on top of here, and there's a duplex filter, and obviously a common antenna port. And it works very well, I'd say, just connected to the, to the area on the roof of the house. I can get about five miles range uh, with the mobile in the car, and a couple of miles range, I can certainly get all the way down into the town centre with just a, a couple of watts on a handheld. And uh, it works very well. I've been very pleased with it. Anyway, there you go. I just thought you'd be interested in seeing this. Give you some ideas. If you were thinking of having a go at making this kind of thing yourself. Uh, just looking at the front here. Just quick, we've got the 16 by 2 LCD screens. And got a couple of indicator lamps here. Um, these are not original off this, but they are probably period to the uh, type lights these would have had uh, bulbs in them but i've taken them out and replaced them with um leds uh, i'm just gonna just see if i can quickly key up on something it's waiting for my radio to fire up uh, there you go so there's your receive and your transmit led and it looks kind of groovy and uh, same thing here this was a Again, this 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 little indicator would have had a bulb in it, but I took the bulb out, drilled out the bottom, and fitted an LED. This has got a white lens on it, but it gives it this kind of almost fluorescent green finish. It sort of modernises it a bit, I suppose, but I kind of like the sort of retro look of this Pi base station. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching my Pi, P-Y-E, MMDVM repeater thanks for watching